what I really needed to tell you, I did before. But I want to say you're a bunch of Granovian. <laughs> that will know so from a Marsha. Uh -huh. Because if I had to say it part over, you guys said it already. <laughs> so I want to add something, it's just like this. If there's going to be someone who's going to be a pharaoh in your life, be sure that when you have to confront them, you see that God is watching the whole thing and is encouraging you and saying, go out, borrow. Mm. It goes for board members and goes for all kinds of things. <laughs> Let's see the hands up of the boulderites here, just for a moment. Okay. When you are here now witnessing ordination, don't think that this leaves you without responsibility. I keep saying this sometimes, when I'm talking to the Chosen and the Khaled. And then I turn to the people who are there and say, you have come to be witness. In other words, to bring your consciousness, your wits, numb, to this situation. And therefore, because you are witnessing their union, you take on responsibility to help them, to stay together so that in their life they could experience a binyan adeyad, a relationship that will last, that will be good for them. It's the same thing about rabbis. I saw the hands up of all the boulderites, and Shavei Kodesh is now experiencing how we're going to handle the thing with the next rabbi who will serve us, and so on and so forth. And I want to say, that goes not only for the Vekos, it goes for every congregation there is. You have to make sure that you remember that rabbi is a relationship word. When you say, I'm a chosid, I have a right to ask you, who's your rabbi? Yeah. When you are calling someone a rabbi, I have a right to ask you, how are you supporting their work? This great story about the goat in the cemetery, some of you know it. There was a man who lost his little topic dish color, where he had his snuff inside. And he was in the cemetery crying. And there was this goat that came over and said, tell me, why are you crying? He says, I lost my little topic dish color. So the goat bent down and said, cut off a piece of my horn and make for yourself a new tabi fish color. So he did. And this guy now has this beautiful little box and every time he offers someone <laughs> a snuff, he said, oh, 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 Tom got it. <laughs> Such an amazing snuff. Where do you get the snuff? He says, it's just plain snuff, but there's the topic fish color. <laughs> so there was a run on the sanitary. <laughs> <laughs> and everybody wanted to have a shtickle of the horn of the goat. Because the horns went all the way up to heaven and they smelled so good from the town Ganeden. But now it happens that the poor goat has very short horns. <laughs> And there is no one there to hold up the sky. Aww. I want to say this has been the, the terrible trouble for rabbis. There are people who consider rabbis employees, which means that they can give, they can tell the rabbi how he should be running the show like a business. And I keep saying to them, yes, like a business, but do you know what kind of business a shul is in? 
assured is in a business to be able to create connections between God and people. And that's going to change. It used to be in the 50s that you would get a great architect to build you a shul because people saw it that way. Not happening this way anymore. I suggested to someone that this wonderful, beautiful building in New York, Temple Emmanuel, near Central Park, should create just like some churches have done. Bring in concerts. How wonderful it would be to have Bloch Sacred Service performed in Temple Emmanuel. And all the other things that Binder and the other people wrote. Because the Stiebel notion has made Judaism very small, very, very it's not like the Benini. You think the Benini, then you go to other places. But most of the time the music is, it could be higher, it could be richer. I would like to see that ushers in the entrance should ask people, if you want to talk, stay out. But if you want to go and meditate inside, come on inside. And I would like to see, like we did in the Chavurah in Boston, way, way back in 68, 69, that when there was a change of season, we played the, from the seasons of Vivaldi. Yam pam pai da da da, da da yam pam pai da da da. We danced to that. It was wonderful. Because we need to lift it up a little bit because the seating has gotten very low because of all the crazy demands that were put on rabbis, become fundraisers. When you ask your rabbi, questions ask, how much time have you got to study Torah? Not for sermons, but just for yourself. This is important. There's some things that you can take and help your rabbi shouldn't be the one, she shouldn't be the one to set up the chairs. <laughs> People come some of when we used to be in uh, Fellowship House Farm to do those retreats. And people would want to come and greet me and I was schlepping chairs. <laughs> and I was saying, I'm sorry, the, uh, you're, the shun is right now. Wait until the rabbi comes. <laughs> And so I want to say, if you can help out and be shamosin, you'll have rabbis. And if not, you're going to grind them down. With all this wonderful, wonderful, hopeful, rich statement that you have made about how you want to serve and what brought you to serve. And what you didn't say, but I could feel, was that you're willing to give a lot of love to people who will come and down with you and will come and want you to teach them. But it's going to dry up. As they say, as much as the calf wants to drink, the cow wants to give. And I don't want your generosity to dry up because people haven't ac accessed that which you're really for as rabbi. So I want to ask you, are you willing to help out? Are you are now witnesses? Are you willing to help out the rabbis? And if you're not Jewish, the clergy in your, in your parish, in your community, to help them out to be able to spend some time attuning to God and to spirituality and not to have to dry out? Yeah. Yes. 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 <laughs> Again. Yes. Alright, it's a little better. No house is so very good. Uh, the horns are still too short. <laughs> yes. I 
lot better. You do not thought that you should have a wonderful rabbit together with all your colleagues. Amen. Amen.